Due to service. So here's a question for you. How many of you knew that a woman served in the Revolutionary War? Mm -hmm. It's true. She disguised herself as a man to fight in the Continental Army. She was a trailblazer because today there are over two million female veterans across this country. And the new film, Bloodstripe, is about their struggle and reveals that for vets, not all wounds are visible. The film's star and co-writer, Kate Nolan, is here now, along with the executive director of the Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America, Allison Jaslow. Welcome to you both. Thank you. So the film is gripping and heart-wrenching at times mm -hmm. and profound. Um, some of the write-ups about it, I, I love this. Let me start with this, okay, because this is from the, when, when your... your um, when the film was, was coming out or when you were completing the script, an op-ed piece was written in the New York Times. And this is what the woman wrote. It just happened to coincide with the end of the script. I can't help but think women soldiers would be afforded the respect they deserve if their experiences were reflected in literature, film, and art. If people could see their struggles, their resilience, and their grief. That was by Kara Hoffman. Mm -hmm. Did that, was that one of the purposes in writing this film and doing it? Absolutely. Uh, we stumbled upon the subject matter of the female service member. We, I didn't realize how many women were serving overseas. Over 700,000 women have served since 9-11 in uniform. And when we started doing research into that subject, uh, we were entirely compelled by the fact that, you know, when I close my eyes and think of our warriors serving our country, I wasn't envisioning a woman right and yet they make up 15 percent of our active duty military and i think i felt really compelled uh to contribute a portrait that simply just represents the reality of who is serving and sacrificing um for our country what's amazing is and when you see the film you, you'll find this stunning because kate actually never served mm -mm. and is it doesn't come from the, from the big military family but you capture this sort of quiet dignified angst that some of the female veterans bring home with them in a society that does not appreciate at all for the most part what they went through beautifully how how did you do that thank you for saying so um i was humbled uh by the subject matter obviously and so i took my role very seriously i took the research very seriously and as an artist i'm a trained actress mm -hmm. um it's my job to observe and absorb and I think serve and represent something that I may not entirely have experienced myself, but that I can apply my own humanity and my own perspective to. Mm -hmm. And so I just observed these women and tried as much as I could to serve them. Allison, you, you did serve um, beautifully and heroically. And do you, what is your thought on the state of female veterans in America and what they go through and what we need to know that, don't, that we don't? Well, you know, I think first and foremost, people don't think of somebody who looks like me when they think of a veteran. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's, I, I have so much respect for how Kate and uh, her husband, Remy, who's the director of the film, um, put so much of themselves into this film because changing the way that we see America's veterans is something that uh, not only needs to happen, it's very necessary. Um, only 27% of Afghanistan's women members say that they feel that the public respects their service. That's a huge you problem. That? Mm -hmm. 27% of the women who served feel, 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 whether we do or we don't, they don't, they feel that we don't respect the service. Yes. That is just, we have to do something about that. Well, women like me are tired of proving our service, um, tired of feeling frustrated when people don't believe us the first time. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we should really, we should think about that, I think, as a nation uh, and address it. The, the stats are staggering. One third of VA health centers do not have a gynecologist. What, what are we expecting our female veterans to do? That is a, a requirement if you happen to be female. Women veterans are dying by suicide at 250% the rate of civilian women. Think about that. Women veterans are two to four times more likely to be homeless than non-veteran women, and one out of every four women receiving care at the VA says that they have experienced military sexual trauma. Mm -hmm. um, what have you been hearing so far in terms of feedback from veterans? That the film resonates for both men and women who have served in different ways because we don't specify necessarily the type of injury or the source of her trauma. Right. We keep a lot of that 
out of the narrative. We are really, we were interested in creating a portrait of a woman that, that embodies the impact of, of trauma and the impact of a violent culture on some level. And so we have heard and are very gratified to know that the film is resonating across the board typically with, with our male and women service members as well as civilians. Anyone who's experienced a kind of trauma can apply and that. Bloodstripe, explain the name. Bloodstripe is the scarlet band that runs down the, the dress uniform of officers in the U.S. Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. And it just, um, we were inspired because her, her rank and her service and her, uh, her um, identity is defined by, by that. And so that was a, the source of inspiration for the title. Well done. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you for your for service. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. You can watch Blood Stripes right now. It's on video on demand. Check it out. You won't be sorry.